All right, fellas, what's going on? Denanu here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And in this video here, we're going to be talking about Detroit Become Human. And uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this game, YouTube. Uh, I love what I saw. Uh, I'm, I'm huge into sci-fi. Um, I like psychological thrillers, and that's what this has appeared to be. Um, this looks like it's going to be one of those... How would I describe it? One of those stories where you're going to figure out how racist people can be against machines. Because <laughs> um, you see this trope a lot in sci-fi. Uh, Ghost in the Shell did it. Um, they did it in iRobot. Um, anytime where you have machines that kind of sort of think for themselves, they always hit that point of when are they going to flip out and go crazy? You know what I'm saying? And I've always been a huge fan of that. Um, the game, from what they showed, looks great. However, I will say this. I think that it's all bullshit. And that's only because uh, this game was made by the... I think it's made by the same people who made Heavy Rain. And I've played all of their games. Um, uh, what was the first one? I know they called it Fahrenheit over the over in Europe, but I think here they called it something else, but pl I played that, I played Heavy Rain, I played, uh, was it, was that game, Beyond Two Souls, and, uh, all of their games have great trailers and a great premise, but the end product is always fucked up, like, um, in Heavy Rain, the story, when, when it, it was a good game, somewhat, uh, but yet a quarter of the game was cut out so the story didn't make no sense um, Beyond Two Souls kind of kind of, sort of the same thing it had more gameplay but story elements were messed up so certain things didn't make sense um, and I have a feeling unless they overcome those hurdles I mean I'm hoping they do because if they can somehow make this game the shit then I'm gonna love it but just based on their track record, I don't think that's the case. Something in this game is going to probably be messed up some kind of way. Either that, or this may be one of those games where it may not be a game like that. They're known for making really quirky games. And I use the term game loosely. They're always like interactive movie type thing. So they this this game may be a kind of sort of the like you know you play the one android guy who's being the negotiator to get this other android you know you're trying to you know talk him down it may be something like you you're replaying this same experience over and over and over again trying to you know get the girl you like you know what I'm saying. It may not be like a game from like beginning to end. Like when I first seen it, I was thinking like, um, oh, like okay, like maybe this is his triggering point, where he's gonna go from being the willful machine, that, you know, that's gonna you know obey humans and all this kind of stuff. He's gonna see the other android flip out, and then, you know, the rest of the game is him becoming more human. Hence the title. You know, that's what I think it's going to be. However, it may just be, like I said, you, you you replaying that same experience over and over and over again, getting different results and finding different evidences and investigating things to, to make different choices. And then at the end of the game, you know, through doing all of that, you become just like the other Android guy, you know, you become self-aware, so to speak. Um, and if, if, it, if they make it like that, I might not like it so much. I want this to be like a full-blown game. However, the reason why I don't think that's the case is because they only showed this one scene. They didn't show no other scenes, and that worries me. And that's how I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be like you're playing the same investigation over and over and over again trying to get a different result. And if that's the case, I mean, I'm still going to play it. I'm probably going to do a Let's Play of it, but... If they make it like that, I might not feel it as much. 
However, if it's a full-blown game from beginning to end and they overcome their past hurdles of storytelling and let's say make a truly in-depth badass experience, that'll be fucking great. I will play, I'll probably do like two or three let's plays of it to make different choices and all of that stuff to, you know, to see what the outcome will be, you know, like, you know what I'm saying? But just based on this trailer, I like what I saw, but like most trailers, I need to see more, you know, in order to make my decision or not as far as how I think this game is going to be, because right now it's like, I, I, I want to like it, I want to love it, but based on all of their other games, like I said, they, they've all had problems. And they're all like story-based problems, or either David, eh, what's his name, David Cage problems. Like in every game or most most game, there's always some weird, creepy rape scene, like like in Heavy Rain or the one scene in Beyond Two Souls where it got where, where the game got a little bit comfortable and they almost gave, like made you give a blowjob in that game. Like it was it was weird. You two <laughs> like like they all have some kind of weird chauvinistic type vibe to him in, in every one of his games um and it's it's just weird how like and and i don't know if, if that's a developer thing like maybe that's just, that's just the game they wanted to tell or if it's uh, a david cage thing because he's all of his games have like the same vibe to him and i have a feeling that they're his decisions of like i want to make my game like this and it's just they, they, they've all had their weird issues like that and, and I think it's more more so him so maybe I, what I'm hoping is maybe that you know with this new game that they can take things and dial them back a little bit write a well written story for once that actually makes sense <laughs> to more people than just David Cage <laughs> and then we, we all can have a badass psychological sci-fi experience with this game that's what I'm hoping but anyways guys that's just been my thoughts upon detroit become human my name is ben Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on youtube and i'll see you guys in the next commentary video peace out